Good day everyone. Welcome to One Stop Academy. My name is Anthony Chinedu. The title of this lesson is Computer Memory. Today we are going to learn about computer memory and the various data storage devices and the units which are used to measure computer storage. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define computer memory know the types of computer memory, storage devices, cloud storage, memory units, the amount of data that can be stored in the storage unit. Computer memory. Computer memory is any physical device capable of storing information temporarily like RAM random access memory or permanently like ROM, read-only memory. Memory devices utilize integrated circuits and are used by operating systems, software and hardware. The memory of the computer is divided into two categories, the primary memory and the secondary memory. Primary memory this is the main memory of the computer. CPU can directly read or write on this memory. It is fixed on the motherboard of the computer. Primary memory holds only those data and instructions on which the computer is currently working on. Primary memory is further divided into two types. The RAM, random access memory, and the ROM, read-only memory. RAM is a temporal memory. The information stored in RAM is lost as the power supply to the computer is turned off. That's why it is also called a volatile memory. It stores the data and instruction given by the user and also the results produced by the computer temporarily which means if the power is off, the data will be lost. Read only memory. Information stored in ROM is permanent in nature. It holds the data even if the system is switched off. It holds the starting instructions for the computer, such as the BIOS. It is also called non-volatile memory because the content will not be lost when power is switched off. Secondary memory. Secondary memory is also known as external memory. It is lower than the main memory. These are used for storing data information permanently. CPU directly does not access these memories. Instead, they are accessed via input output routines. The contents of the secondary memories are first transferred to the main memory and the CPU can access it. Let's say for instance now when you open your Microsoft Word or your browser which is installed on your hard disk it will load to your RAM then from there the CPU will make use of it. For example the hard disk, the CD-ROM, the DVD the flash drive, there are examples of secondary memory. Computer storage devices. A storage device is any computing hardware that is used for storing, porting, and extracting data files and objects. It can hold and store information both temporarily and permanently and can be internal or external to a computer server or any similar computing device examples of computing computer storage we have the magnetic storage device which is the hard disk the floppy disk the magnetic strip the super disk the tape disk and the zip diskettes we also have the optical storage devices optical storage devices make use of lights as a method of reading and writing data. Example, we have the blurry disk, the CD-ROM disk, 
the CD-R and the CD writable disc. We also have the DVD writable and DVD writable plus and DVD read writable disc. Flash storage. Flash storage has replaced most magnetic and optical media as it becomes cheaper because it's more efficient and reliable solution. That's why you can have one terabyte storage in a just in a small box and you can also have 32 gigabyte flash in a small disk because it is it uses flash storage technology example we have the usb flash we have this compact flash we have the memory card we have the smart card we have the sd card and we have the ssd card cloud storage cloud storage is file storage in the cloud that's online when you store your files online it's called cloud storage so instead of keeping your files or your local hard drive your external hard disk or your flash you can save them online cloud storage is helpful not only when it comes to backup but also for security and the ability to easily share files with others or access them yourself from anywhere using your phone, your tablet, or any internet enabled um, device. So, examples of personal cloud storage um, platforms we have the Amazon Drive, we have Google Drive, we have Microsoft OneDrive, we have um, Apple iCloud, we also have Dropbox. We have a lot of them, but these five are the popular ones. And if you have a Gmail account, you have access to Google Drive. And when you access your Google Drive, you have 15 gig of free online storage. And one of the advantages of storing your documents online is it's safe. You can access it from anywhere, anytime with internet enabled device. And you can easily share files and folders with your friends and family easily when you store them online. And in any case, you lost your personal device, such as your laptop or your phone, your documents are saved online. So if you have not, if you don't have any cloud storage, I would advise you open a Gmail account and you have 15 gig free storage. Memory unit. Memory unit is the amount of data that can be stored in the storage unit. Its storage capacity is pressed in terms of bytes. Data in the computer memory is represented by two digits, zero and one. These two digits are called binary digits or bits. A bit is the smallest unit of a computer memory. To represent each character in memory, a set of eight binary digits is used. This set of eight bits is called byte. So one byte is used to represent one character of data. Eight bits makes one byte. To represent a large amount of data in memory, higher data storage units are used such as kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte. But all these units are formed with a set of bytes, which is 8 bits makes 1 byte. The following table explains the main memory storage units. So we say bit. A bit is a binary digit. It's a logical zero or one representing a passive or an active state of a component in an electric circuit which is zero on one can be on or off zero represents off y1 represents on then nipple is a group of four bits is called nipple then byte a group of eight bits is called byte a byte is the smallest unit which can represent a data item or a character. For instance, if the computer wants to save the alphabet A, it needs its bits to be able to save A on 
the memory. Then word. A word like a byte is a group of fixed number of bits processed as units, which varies from computer to computer, but is fixed for each computer. The length of a computer word is called word size or word length. It may be as small as, as, small as 8 bits or maybe as long as 92 bits. A computer stores the information in the form of computer words, that's word count. Higher storage units will have kilobytes. One kilobyte is equal to 1024 bytes. And one megabyte is equal to 1024 kilobytes. One gigabyte is equal to 1024 megabytes. And one terabyte is equal to 1024 gigabytes. One petabyte is equal to 1024 terabytes. And now when we measure computer speed or download speed, we measure it in bits. While when we're talking of storage, the amount of data that can be downloaded over the network, we measure it in bytes. So when you talk of computer storage, we measure it in bytes but when you talk of internet speed download speed we measure it in bits that's b-i-t-s but bytes that's of storage the spell you write it in capital letter which is b-y-t-e thank you for watching this lesson if you have not subscribed to our channel click on the subscribe button if you like this video click the like button